Are you still using resin to make your part stick together? Do you use glue to make that job a whole lot better for yourself? Have you ever had a problem with gaps? Hello and welcome back to a place that isn't my dining room table. Today's video I'm going to show you a very quick trick about how I... In today's video I'm going to show you a quick trick that I figured out... A quick trick that I... F In today's video I'm going to show you a quick trick that I figured out... In lychee. Or lychee, depends on how you want to say it, but I say it lychee. In this video I'm going to show you how I figured out how to make two parts become one part and save you the trouble of filling in gaps. I know that seemed really difficult, but it was more difficult for me to say than it was for you watching it. Thanks for watching and please enjoy the video. So something that we've always had a problem with is joining pieces or joining parts of a model. So usually something like this would be printed in two bits. So today I'm going to show you something which seemed rather obvious. Unless you've seen someone else do it, you may not want to do this for yourself, but today you're going to see somebody else do it. Let's just say, for example, you have these two parts, which is a right and a left thigh for Loki from Wicked 3D. Usually we would print these parts one by one and then glue this together and fill this gap that comes in between. Obviously this is gonna fit on my printer as one whole piece anyway. So what I did was I supported each part and placed them together like this. Like I really don't think you're gonna get this perfect every time, but I think you can get it a lot closer or more accurate than you would by filling this by hand, especially if you have a lot of shrinkage in your prints. Um, some resins are really susceptible to shrinkage problems and this could be a major problem if you try to stick these two parts together and you have a huge gap coming down the center and you have to repair this gap. I reckon it could have been a little bit better, but I will show you the results and you can tell me for yourself what you think about this. Here we go. This is the part. This is the part that I printed. You can see there is a very slight right there where the, the same place in the, in the slicer showed. It's ever so slight, but I don't think you're going to get much better than that if you had to fill that gap yourself. All that's going to take is a small amount of trimming, almost like the flashing on a plastic model. That's gone. If you were thinking about trying to do this and you were worried about doing it in case something happened, it's totally doable. So if you were thinking about doing it, but were too scared to try it, I've just given you the proof that you can try it just to show you that there is definitely no shrinkage or anything this is most of the parts that i need for the model for loki and that's how easy they fit in they fit in perfectly thank you for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe every single interaction on the video helps very much get me higher up in algorithm and makes more people see these videos if that video was not to your satisfaction, then you know what to do. Just... I don't understand why it's so difficult to speak to the stupid camera! What the f***?